Hey everyone, welcome to the design tutorial. Today we're diving into the local edit feature inside the AI editor tool. This tool lets you change any object in your image into whatever you want. And the best part? It looks totally natural. So let's check out how it works. First, head over to the global sidebar and open the AI editor. Then, just click on Local Edit to get started. Click anywhere on the canvas to upload the image you want to edit. In this example, I want to turn a red beanie into a white bucket hat. Choose your preferred brush and mask the object you want to change. Then, in the text box, simply describe what you want it to become. If your image follows a specific style, you can choose a style here, but for most cases, the default No Style V2 works perfectly. As for the control method, just stick with prompt mode. Design will generate the new object based on your prompt and the area you masked. Once it's done, you can check the result on the right-hand panel. Now here's something even cooler. You can also use Local Edit to add something new to your image using just a prompt. Let's say I want to add a cute little dog next to a girl in the image. All I need to do is click Clear All to remove the existing mask, then mask the area where I want the dog to appear. Describe the object and its action in the prompt box, then hit Generate and let Design do the rest. If you want the result to stay closer to the original image, you can try two other control methods. Same steps, upload the image, mask the object, and describe what you want. Then, under control method, you'll see two other options, balanced and image. The difference between them is how much they reference the original shape and structure of the object within the masked area. When you use Balanced, Design still uses your prompt, but also keeps more of the original shape and layout. For example, if I mask a flower and ask for a red flower, you'll see the flower's overall shape stays similar, but the petals might change in size or direction. Now, let's try the image control method with the exact same prompt and mask. This time, the new flower looks almost identical to the original. The shape barely changes, and the color blends between the white in the original and the red from the prompt. So there you have it. You now know how to use local edit in design and how to choose the right control method based on how much of the original image you want to keep. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more creative tutorials. See you next time.